The first thing we're going to talk about this week is the physical description area, which is basically where you try and give your catalog users an idea of the physical characteristics of the item you're working with. Um, the first part of the physical description area is what's called the extent, um, which is basically the number of units you're working with and then what is called the specific material designation, which is the SMD for short. Um, basically that's a way of describing what the item is that's a little bit more specific than the GMD, the general material designation that we talked about before. And this will vary depend on, depending on what type of item you're working with. Um, for a DVD example, um, this one in particular comes with three discs. So you want the number of units, three, and then video discs is the approved term to use for the SMD. For a VHS, in this example we just have one, and the correct term to use is video cassette. For a streaming video, the correct term to use is streaming video file. Now these terms might seem a little bit archaic or not exactly a common, not common language that your users might use, but they are from terms listed in AACR2 as approved specific material designations. Except for the streaming video, that is not listed in AACR2 because it's a much newer technology, but that comes from the Online Audiovisual Catalogers group, and they have a guidelines that they have put out on cataloging streaming media, and so that is where that term comes from. Now, also included in the extent, you need to have the running time, how long this item is. And so, and this goes in parentheses after the SMD. So this three disc set, the total running time is 521 minutes. So you see that in parentheses with MIM period for abbreviation for minutes. Here we have our video cassette again. And you can see from the back that the running time is 64 minutes. So that's what goes in parentheses after the SMD. And here is our streaming video. And we can tell that it's about 52 minutes and 10 seconds. You can round that to 52 minutes and include that as part of the extent. Now the next part of the physical description area is other physical details. And in this case of video recordings, it generally refers to whether or not the item has sound and whether it's in color or black and white. Um, these words get abbreviated, as you can see. Sound is abbreviated SD period, and color is COL period. Um, if you had a black and white item, it would be B and W is the abbreviation for that. Here is our video cassette again. It also is sound and color. Um, Generally, you would, you know, actually watch the item in order to make sure that that is the case. You can probably assume that most video recordings you'll come across these days have sound, and then you can possibly tell from the cover whether or not it's in color or black and white, but definitely watch the item to be sure. So again, we have an item with sound and in color. And here's the same thing for our streaming video file. Um, Actually, there are a few more details that are needed with streaming video. You need to say that it's digital, and you need to specify what file type it is if you can tell that from the item. So in addition to sound and color, we have digital and WMV file for Windows Media format of a video. And the last thing that is included in the physical description area is the dimensions of the item. And so for video discs, either Blu-ray or DVDs, the standard diameter of a disc is what we're looking for in the dimensions area. And so that is four and three quarters inches, inches abbreviated IN period. For a video cassette, we're looking at the width of the tape. And that is a half inch. So we're talking about the actual tape itself, not the cassette. And for streaming video, there actually are no dimensions. Obviously, it's something that you're just accessing remotely online, so we do not worry about the dimensions. So that is complete after the physical characteristics. In a marked record, the physical description area goes in a 300 field. The extent goes in subfield A. The other physical details goes in subfield B, and the dimensions go in subfield C. So here are our three examples that we've been looking at as they would look in MARC format. 
as you can see, there, both of the indicators for this field are undefined.